So let's check the stream. You guys welcome everyone. Hi guys! Hello. I'm CZ Von Slaughter. No, I am Jaime in in Fuego. Wow, you can go formal intro yet. Wow, you can go fuck yourself. Wow. We were asked to jump on the social media. And then he's like, no, it's not like I do that. And various cult leaders. Well, you know, I am gonna implore you as Bad Religion did, and various cult leaders along the likes of Jim Jones and Jim uh, Jones, wow, you really escalated I'm, I'm, that I'm digging real quick. deep. And Jim Morrison to come join us. Whoa! Because we Damn. are going to be giving Okay, we're gonna uh, ask some... you to drink the Kool-Aid. Let's just put that up there. No, this isn't well, Kool-Aid. There's no artificial dyes in this stuff. It's just, a, it's just a spicy salsa. It's a spicy salsa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but uh, right. we have some you awesomeness. Sound like we sound good. All right, that was oh. our soundy oh. checky thingy. Has anyone said anything? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, sure, why not? Oh. And there's cult leaders too. So, Susie, why don't you tell a story or something while we uh, prepare and let people filter in? Yeah. Uh, sort of story. That's she, adorable. She okay. Um. Just so any, story. any any story. Okay. <laughs> so I got a what? She's got an extended family, sir. Huh? I do. Family story. Uh, what? Family story. A family a fun, story. A fun one um, awesome okay. Yes. So one time. So my son, mm -hmm. my oldest son, Nathan. He, okay, I'll I'll talk about what I posted the other day. So my oldest son Nathan, he's ten. He is the light of my life. In case you guys don't know, I have four children. I have a ten year old boy, four year old girl, three year old boy, two year old girl. Uh, yes, <laughs> like never in my life. They're all but, amazing. But um, so my oldest son, he is incredible. I'm not just saying this because he's my son. Because trust me, the other ones are fucking demons. But um, she says that the other day, <laughs> after the story, let them know what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so the other day, I was talking to my son, and we were talking about my grandmother. Oh, she, she ah! just turned ninety, nine zero. Yeah. Uh, uh, yesterday, which was Saturday, March 9th. To. Yes, March 9th. She turned ninety years old. She is off the boat, fucking Irish man. So, uh, she takes no shit from anyone. Uh, I love her to death. Um, anyway. So I was talking to my my eldest son Nathan about the party, and I was like, "Oh man, Nathan, Gammy's party's gonna be lit!" And he just kind of silent. He's like, "I'm confused," and I was like, "Oh, what? You confused? What are you confused about? Like, do you not know what lit means?" And he goes, "Oh no, I know what lit means. Of course he does. I'm just confused as to why you are using it. So this is a thing. Oh. I don't know if he's." Like saying it because I'm his mom and I'm older, <laughs> or because I'm so black metal. <laughs> Why the fuck am I using <laughs> the term lit? Mom, do you but, listen to Little Wayne now? Yeah, it's, 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 but seriously, I I'm so uh, grateful for my son. He's amazing. He's hilarious. I would much rather hang out with him than most people my age. Hmm. So, oh, and, and if you haven't happens. seen him, you can see him in the uh, Boogeyman skit. That was my son in the skit, the the boogeyman. That was that was amazing. So he's super excited. So hopefully uh, we will get him back on the channel sometime soon when we have time. He's been confirmed to come back on, and on top of that, he actually did a few reaction videos where we were just basically like, was it try not to laugh, cringe? Yes, that is true. He I, uh, he and, has made some encore appearances. And that's the thing. I never, I never ever 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 push. Like, what I like on my kids, trust me, my girls, they're like pink, 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 pink. They're all about that. But the other day, my daughter Olivia, my four-year-old, she actually found out about Chucky. How so? And now what she's... I came, I came home one day, and my uh, my stepmother's grandson was watching Chucky. Ooh. And it was on the TV, and she was just like... She was like all about it, so now I cannot get her off of it so the crab apple does I not never, and I never I never push anything on my kids I just want them to be happy you know they dress in pink and all that fun stuff it's okay pink and black is a fashionable thing it's okay 
So, uh, so anyway, so we are actually here. Yes, we are. To well, to welcome to... Scott Baker, Ben Grimm, and Emily Glover, who Thank are you. the first few commenters. So what we we are going to be doing is we are going to be listening to some music from Midnight Syndicate. Yes, awesome. And we are going spectacular to... scores, guys. Yes. So and what we're going to be doing is we are just from listening to it, we are going mm. to be building the scenario in our head of what we see in that situation just for music i'm super excited about it yeah so cecil will be here any minute he's a bit occupied I'm on the way. it's okay i'm Turn on me. my way yeah. i'm on my way yeah, i'm thinking of the hot tub time machine now home sweet home i'm more of a gnr guy but i will uh Tonight, tonight. Oh, is this just for me? Am I taking this by myself? No, I brought mine too. I was brother. alone. I was all by myself. <laughs> no one no was drinking. drinking. I was so, thinking of you. So yeah, really I quick, John. My kids are watching. Apparently, are they really? Oh, really? I guess so. Hi. I Hi, kids you. and Marcus. I so guys, I'm gonna be a little closer than everyone else because I gotta control the music aspect of it. Um, so I'm dressed for like I should have been playing basketball. All I was doing was playing drums earlier. Does everyone have their earphones? Nope, nope. not at all. <laughs> yeah, so they're right there. Oh you. yeah, I keep forgetting. Crap out of the way. I keep forgetting, okay? Gee, why must you be forgetsies, dude? Guess who's drunk and has two guys? Uh, two guys, two thumbs. <laughs> that guy. That's a little more, uh, that would be worse. Sounds like you guys are going to have a good night. What's oh. this? Are you <laughs> I'm leaving directly are you drunk after and you the have two <laughs> guys, too, because. Woo! Man alive. That's wow, the way to do oh, it. Wow, wow, that escalated Not so fast. Not at all. Quick. I'm short of it. And we're still <laughs> Emily alive. Glover just says laugh. And we're still. <laughs> Who is that again? Emily know? Glover. Glover, Glover, uh, Glover. I'm all right. Um, Y'all ready for this? I'm, I'm guessing well, then so. I guess I'm going to go ahead and move the, this a little bit lower. So you don't have to see my white ass legs, eh? Well, actually, no. You're going to see them. You're going to see them right now. Yeah, you're going to cross them anyway. So, well, okay, guys. Because you see the thing. So, yes, as Susie explained, we are oh, going to play mind. a song from the Midnight Syndicate. I'm just going to take it. So, I'm going to Wait, wait for me. No, just take it. He takes wait forever. For you fucks take forever. That's what she wait said. For me. Yep. That's what I said. That's what I said. We're going to ride. Okay, by. here we go. My little home again. So Midnight Syndicate is who we're working with on this, so we can put the graphics in later after this. Yeah, and we've been actually working with them for quite a while. They licensed their music to us as long as we yeah. gave them credit, and they've yeah. been very cool. They sent us a bunch of CDs. There was a holiday theme CD as in we the Christmas we re holiday. We reviewed two of them. We need we to review the rest of them. Yeah. Sorry, well, Wences... well, because there was another one that was like full-on greatest hits. Is like some of their Guess who's drunk and has two thing. thumbs? This guy! Yeah, that's what I was trying to say before. Very nice. Oh, okay, okay. That I screwed up. Yes. He says, I got five guys. Seriously, their burgers are delicious. Their burgers are delicious, but you can't go to Five Guys and get a burger and fries for less than $15. Is I, the problem. I've been there once. I would rather and I was go okay. I would rather go sit down somewhere. Yeah, I'll go. Really I'll go Smash Burger. Burger. I'll go Freddy's Steak Burger. I I'll go a lot of places even before I go Robin Five Guys. Replenish my French fries. Cheers, Susie von Slaughter. We love you, Cheers, Jaime and Fuego. We love you. And Fuego. God damn it! Right, we are role models. Oh Very God! Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> oh. Are from I don't know why my kids are watching oh. right now, but hey. called sarcasm. No, no, you. You have a very talented and amazingly awesome mother, y'all. So, guys, yeah. just so you know, we are encouraging your participation in this. We want you guys to help us build a scene. What we're going to do is we're going to listen it. to a Midnight Syndicate track, all of us together. Oh, and we are going to devise a scene that we see in our minds. So, do we want to listen to the whole thing or do we want to talk as it progresses? What would well, you guys would, prefer? That would probably, I mean, let's listen to portions. Let's give portions. it maybe a minute and then, okay. you know, see how it's developing and then see what the feedback is from the audience. Good idea. Good idea. Okay, yeah, so we'll give it a amount of minute. track, like, a couple minutes. I what up, think. Mikey Mnemonic? Good to see you, brother yes, man. Yes, and we are giving you mad props. Absolutely, patron. The new name. Yes, and shout out to Dead, the Dead Planet Podcast. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull up our first Midnight Syndicate track. And oh, guys, Corey's on too, man. Yay! Who is Corey? Oh, We're Corey Novak, what up? Yeah, dude, Corey's one of our favorites. Yeah, absolutely. So, man. Corey, as um, as in response to your question, 
Do me a favor, man. He he asked if he wants to buy a sh- or if he can buy a shirt. No, Corey, you don't, just, you don't, you don't sh- shut up. Corey, just send me your address to the Horror Show 666 and we'll get you a shirt. Send me your address yes. and your size and we'll get you a shirt. This you don't need to buy one. In. You don't need to buy one. All right, not so here we go. Not a chance. The first oh. the first track we are going to listen to. So from which album of this? Is this? Um this is Doesn't from matter. Out of the Darkness. That is the track, the album. It's a retrospective. It is their best of album. That was the two disc one they sent us, if I remember correctly. Uh, it might be. Um, so this is just, uh, I have the tracks selected here are the tracks that we use for some of our things. Um, so it's less aggressive tracks, more backgroundy, but they're more scene buildy as well. Yeah, oh, well. Buildy. And, and, and they don't have much that's that aggressive, like industrial, whatever. There, there's a couple hard edge notes and a few of them, which. Me and Susie probably appreciate. So here we go. This first one is called Realm of Shadows. It's two minutes and 54 seconds long. So here we go. We're going to listen to it. And after a certain portion, we'll take a little break and talk about what we see. All right? So And and also what you guys see and what you could do. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. So yeah, let us know as we go. So here we go. Realm of... That's Susie. Oh my God. (laughs) Three, two, one. Here we go. (laughs) Alright, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit on the sound. Because I don't want it to override our voices entirely. Alright, is that still good for everyone? Is that a good sound mix? Can everyone still hear us? Got it, damn man, I appreciate it. Okay, so Corey's in the house. So here we go, let's listen to this. So the Midnight Syndicate, just so you guys know, does these instrumental tracks uh, for the most part, and it's all horror-themed instrumental tracks. So here we go. What even is this? I mean, immediate. Oh, it's CP. what even <laughs> no, is <me>. this? <laughs> what up, CP? What's it mean? What up, CP? So for those of you just joining, guys, what we're doing is we're playing a music track from the Midnight Syndicate. This one's called Realm of Shadows. And we want your guys' opinion on what kind of horror scene this elicits. Um, So that's what we're estimating here. Honestly, the first notes I'm getting are a very tour vibe. Like if someone was touring Dracula's castle, this might be right sort of something that they're seeing but now it's picked up it's a little bit faster than that so i'm actually getting a completely different vibe i'm getting a this feels like the opening credits oh shit mikey all right yo do that well i've got one cut of the dead coming mikey so so hang on to yours i went ahead and ordered one i've got one coming from uh hong kong um, and I'll loan that to Fuego, so he, so you, you guys got to watch One Cut of the no, Dead, and we got to do a proper review. I, I ordered it. I paid thirty five bucks. I'm getting it shent from China. I guess I'm watching. I'm getting it shent shen- from China. Shen- is what from- I said. Shent. The man's Good Lord. getting it shent. The vodka's from China? working. It, um, it, man, if you can turn it up just the tiniest, tiniest bit. Turn um, it up the tiniest bit. Can you? Is your volume a down a little bit? in the dark. Turn your wheel all the way up towards the top. Other side. Is that a little better? But, All right, I can I can turn it up. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. Uh, um, honestly, the vibe and correspondence that I'm getting here is I'm envisioning <laughs> there is. You know been, what, CP? I'm envisioning that there has been a series of crimes that have been perpetrated. Okay. And I am envisioning all of these different newspaper clippings of these serial, <laughs> just nastiness transpiring in like an opening credits like montage type of vibe is what I'm getting out of this, where it's just like you know. 13 killed and blah 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 and okay then, i can know, see six that six years later you know so on and so forth are like as the credits roll exactly okay are crimes connected okay i can see that still unsold do you get what he's you? saying yeah like I, panning across the walls and stuff like honestly, that. honestly uh, when i hear it i think of the uh i think it, it's Charles play three when like he's being reanimated that was, oh that's it thing? that's when it he was, that's okay. what happens when we start talking over it <laughs> so i can start it again i'll start it again I'll just loop it. Now the now killer's Actually, watching towards somebody in the climax. Loop forever. No. So this this is how I I saw it is when in Child's Play with Chucky after the toy factory, he's being reanimated. He's everything's being like sucked up and he's being like all the plastic and everything. Like that's what I see. See, I like it. People are getting into it. So yes, once it says like, the oh, scene, everything. the scene is a teenager in the dark drawing under a dark light. I'm gonna. Now that we're playing it again, let's let's yeah, hear it no, for that. We have to play it at least a couple teenager times. in the dark drawing under the desk light. Oh, is it too distracting for you? I actually love that, man. You're just gonna drink, okay? 
I'm trying um, to get this. As cover. he draws his imagination, everything comes to life. His hallways, his monsters, he sees it all. I actually really like that. Dude, that's like Joe Hill. And I can see that with this. I can see. Yeah. Wences. Yeah. Wences. That might be the most original. I like that. I would say Wences props, yo. So yeah. Brandon Quinn says agreed. I'm not sure which he agreed to. Um, <laughs> My, maybe what I said because you I'm know I was um, Mikey <laughs> and the money. I know we'll get there. Jack the River see. style gothic horror vibes. Yeah, well that's that is what a lot of their stuff is is a gothic uh, sort of horror, but yeah, it's different enough that you can really build different scenes, and I think that's kind of a fun thing to do. Honestly, we well, don't get to play with music and horror enough, yeah. and that's the essence of our channel. It's we're a horror variety channel, so here we are. <laughs> We're trying something new with you guys. Well, okay. this is where I got to give Mikey a shout out because, you know, and well, a further shout out because he's a badass and awesome and has great taste in horror. But beyond that, he's been experimenting <laughs> with like some, you know, synths and, you know, loops and, you know, things like that. Uh, him and I were the ones who pawned over Gunship and The Midnight and stuff like that, you know, which is this dark synth, is like great. synth wave throwback type of sound. And it's very 80s soundscapey. These guys are not like full on synth driven okay? stuff, dude. They're much more so like just the almost since we just watched Candyman for God's sake, you know, they're big on the choir with the orchestral kind of thing as opposed to synth driven stuff. They don't really have much synth at all in any of the stuff that we listen to. It was all just, you know, you know <clears throat> I wasn't sure if you were telling me there's hair in my eyes or whatnot. No, but, no. But uh, yeah, this is uh, much more of that more classical approach to horror scoring as opposed to that sent the 80s and early 90s shizzle that, you know, I've loved so much, but I like them both, you know, it's just the time and a place and a context within the horror you're trying to present, so. See, someone agrees with me. Mm. One point to Susie, I can absolutely see. So I see this as the beginning of a film. I don't see this holding up in the middle of a film. Okay, Chucky else. reforming, oh. Because uh, I see this as a building up in a film, like at the beginning of a film. Well, yeah, that's I can see that. No, that's a good I don't really, I don't really that's see this point. holding up anywhere else in a film. Except the beginning, okay. Except the, yeah. Except I can see, yeah. okay. That's a, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very, the first track. It's got yeah. the first but track, no, that, so. That's what I thought of as Chucky when he's like, the plastics is like, and like, mm. So Joanna from Canada says the music is grand and makes me think of this old classic horror movies, Dracula. Um, and of course, CP yeah. said now the killer is marching towards somebody in the climax with the da na da na. Yeah, once they I think that works it up, very well too. There's additional little <clears throat> orchestral notes that started to flourish through. Yeah, Winston says I see it as the beginning too. Yeah. So okay, that's Realm of Shadows, guys. We have a bunch of tracks we can go through. Do we want to move on to the next? Yeah, one? we do. <laughs> yeah, let's. So yeah, let's. So we'll call this one. That was Realm nice of Shadows. Video. And also, once okay. again, this is Midnight Syndicate. Midnight and Syndicate. They were kind enough to license their music to us free of charge, as opposed to. Thank the, you. We have dealt so I'm much with talk about the details of the deal, Frizzle. man. Jesus. Up, man. Come on. Oh, I didn't know that was a problem. <laughs> we are all about supporting others and bringing you guys to the fucking shit. Okay, I didn't realize so. that was an issue to mention. My bad, man. <laughs> it's not an Cecil issue. just has a stick up his ass, apparently. No, so. it's just always exude <laughs> that air of professionalism if you can. So we here, are we yeah, okay. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. From like okay. a show that has played little music. Darkness and descends. And then dings. Or do I want to go to Green Sleeves? Green Sleeves is a really good one, too. All right, we've got a lot. Oh, <laughs> Grizzly Reminder is great, too. All right, so we're going to do Darkness Descends next. I love alliteration. Y'all ready for this? Darkness Wait, no, please hold. Please hold. Yeah, put, okay, put, put your piece in your ear. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Wait, Stick it oh, in, oh Susie. God, Stick it in. That's uh, Ready? obviously where I got to the point where I am. Have you four don't kids. Have to yep. If you don't want to. <laughs> Just stick it in. Don't worry about the condom. Just stick it in. Don't play with it. It won't be a problem, I promise. I'm from Kensington. <laughs> All right, here we go. I could never have three questions from a two, girl from Kensington. Three, two, one, go. Okay. All right. We love you, Susie. I it's like Darkness going. Descends. It's I like okay. Darkness Descends. All right. Yeah. No, it's good. I'm a big fan of the piano. Is it too loud? Are we good? We still We're good? We're good. not overpowering the voices. I just want to make sure for them they can hear us, not just the music. Well, it's tough with the talking over in this room. What's up, Cinema of the Dead? Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, very nice. Everyone that's here, please say hi in the comments down below if you want. We're just yes. sitting here. I'm trying to not look fat while I'm sitting here, but it's basically what? impossible. Ugh. I hate it. Haunted Forest, Joanna from Canada. Okay. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh God! 
I both hate you and I'm jealous of you. Ready? Oh, Here we go. oh I can do it, but I sound like I'm Woody so the Woodpecker. So oh, so oh, gotta be. Hit it. me up, girl. <laughs> yeah, no, we're again, good. Lincis says we're good. Okay. I'm honestly feeling like get a Western vibe, says Corey. Okay. Now yeah. I I agree with the forest. I like the forest, again, but still an opening. Scene. Still, I'm not nothing, that, nothing that would hold true. No, I feel like this could be an interlude scene as yeah. someone is delving been... deeper into their mystery of why they're being tormented by ghosts or something, or they're going on an investigative journey through the forest to try and find out why this is happening to them. I, I see, see it that. as a really solid introduction. What up, wandering marine veteran? Good to see you. I see it as a really solid introduction to a movie to like, you know what I mean? Like, well, it obviously could be, but I don't think it's relegated to the first part like the last song was. Okay. You know, you feel like it only works at the beginning, or yeah. you feel like it could work I as an intro? I feel that it's, it is an amazing introduction for a movie to keep you... Listen, listen. Do me a favor. Listen to this right now, and picture this. Picture... Okay. Picture... Final that it's That it's... Um, that it's the bad guy keying up right? before the final act. Right. Listen to it in that capacity. Right. And that's actually so. Very it's similar. so. It's 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 not the middle of the movie, but it's the end of the second act when things are falling apart yeah. for the main character, and like the bad guy is is sort of creeping into his position of power. And I wasn't even thinking. Sorry, like, this one isn't total, on uh, on repeat. Here we go. Total guy, like Here we go. forever. The other person. But the vibe that I initially got, Cecil, was that okay, somebody. Almost like insane. No, come instance. on. This is after some story's been revealed. No. Go ahead, Fuego. I like your opinion better on this. <laughs> the vibe that I'm getting, Susie, okay? Uh -huh. So, in, in Vision, this girl has been admitted into an insane asylum when she's not technically insane. It's the vibe that I got from uh, Soderbergh's uh, Unsane, where she is brought in against her will and she is just trying to dream up how she can escape. And she's there. And she's just like looking around and all of her surroundings like a montage of I'm sitting with these people who are just like man, man, like that and she's just looking around and she's like That's not a bad scene. Like, oh my god, what am I doing here? You know? How am <coughs> I gonna escape? It's that whole all Ooh, hope is lost. You that's know, not from wrong. the second act segueing into that's... the third act, the all hope is lost. Look at look at Wences' most so, recent comment for you. you... Wences says, this is the track they should have played for Georgie's boat ride. So this is what I'm talking about. It okay. is an this could excellent, work very well it is, for that. It is a fucking yeah. excellent, solid fucking track. Well, it is a calm before it, the that's storm. That's a good call, Wences. But that's what, it is the calm before the fucking storm. And so that's what I'm saying. It's horrible very, is about to happen. That's true. It is beautifully done. Well, but that also plays in with my leading into the third act thing. The calm before the storm. No, yes. I, like the mean, evil where, calm before no, the storm. The, like the lost. evil no, 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 forces no, no, no. are gathering. But, but this is very. No, not no, no, no. Okay, girl. All right, we're gonna do we this. Both okay. Oh okay. shit. Okay. Right. Woo! Ha! Okay, so we're gonna do this. Right now. Refills. He's not in. Okay. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Or just go grab no, the bottle. This is either the very, way. It's beautifully done. Give me it's a second. beautifully done. I'm not saying it doesn't have any place anywhere. I'm saying this track they should have played for Georgie's boat ride. That is... You're getting that specific because that's where it's like reaching at me. Well, okay, so a wandering marine veteran says, glad to be back. Wences says, final destination, the person with the premonition starts remembering the vision and tries to figure out who's next. That that's, a, that's a really deep, very cutting, really, good, really goddamn good. That's really yeah, yeah, good yeah. for this. This is fun. I, I like this. I, think, I told you. I like wish this. I had more vodka. I think Man. it would be executed best at the beginning of the film. Totally missed it. He totally missed it. I think, I think this is a versatile cut. You know, Agreed. This is less less specifically gothic horror yeah, and more mood setting horror. Yeah. That, that's and that's what I'm saying. Set. I think it would be best put at the beginning of a film because it's not too much, but it sets that tone yeah. throughout the whole thing. There's ominous shit that's about Well, then to you know what? I'm gonna argue that this could be an end credits where everybody has died and everything is like totally that too. fucked, and they're just like, oh my god, the what bleak ending. To yeah, all the of bleak us. ending. Um, I could see that too. I told y'all, music and horror is my expertise. There's I'm living no for this. Her nose. Her nose. Your no, nose. No, Wait. No, oh no, he just cracked. No Sometimes no. when you're performing, you must get itchy, but you can't. Her nose itches. I can't imagine on stage what happens if you have to sneeze during a show. Are you talking about no. us? No. Or? Can you imagine how it is as a drummer <coughs> when you have a nose? I don't care. I just go or whatever, and you're smashing things. 
I'm confused. Yes, you need to elaborate. Who Hold on, just let's about? let's address Cinema of the Dead. Uh, love your channel, guys. Do you ever come to California for Monster Palooza? That is in the cards for next year. Yeah. We this year are focusing. We went to Mad Monster Charlotte. We are going to Texas Frightmare Weekend. We are going to be at Phoenix Comic Con. We are going to be at Mad Monster Phoenix. We and are, and we then are, we, we are might definitely. be doing a specific trip to the King. Well, I'm going. Definitely. Look, if I get one more, if I get one more sale, I'm going with you. There's no so, way I'm missing. If I get one more sale, I'm going with you. Basically, we are trying very hard to come back there, but we yeah, are, LA, California is our biggest market. Honestly, yeah. so where I we want need to, to get go, out to one of those. It's at the cons. end of the month, dude. It's in like two weeks, but Joe Hill is doing a Nosferatu panel, and he has a bunch of stuff going on along with um, Zachary Quinto. Wonder Zachary Con, Quinto. WonderCon is in like three weeks all right well i think that i can't I get that this together could that easily quickly be end this could be end credits you guys craziness also have a show all the where you play all horror inspired. movie theme songs slash music and we have to guess the movies you know it's oh, really we can do funny. that too except you, know, you get hit with copyright really hard oh, but if shit, it's a live okay. stream i mean yeah we could do it as a live stream we just wouldn't be able to keep it up yeah. absolutely um so funny story i uh we were finishing ha, up. i was finishing up uh, watching a certain movie. Uh, like porn, okay. To no, I was she here. Candyman. We were watching. Can no, I was, was finishing. I was. I was here. finishing up watching Candyman okay. so that we could do a review. It was actually Spy Kids three. So I was here. So I actually did a really quick video. Oh, like, I saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, who got, Who can guess what? And Brad Thornton, he was like. Candyman. I was Red like, Thornton. well, you no, the shit, too. I was like, Shout you to took the fun out of it. Yeah. <laughs> what is his Facebook group? It's like Horror and Nasty is and... Oh, okay, uh, there we go. He, yeah, Wandering Marine Veteran says, I'm just saying if someone's performing and they're on stage and have to hold a sneeze or something, it must be tough. Yeah. Oh, dude, uh, you say Fuego, Fuego pineapple. Knows. Sucks. <laughs> you say pineapple. You guys could also have a show where you all play... Oh, yeah, okay, we need to talk to that one. Uh, Joanna, that'd be good. We would just have to deal with the copyright aspects. So, all right, I think that's good on this track. You guys want to like move on to the next one? Third final act. This feels so much more in the back half of a film. No, too. opening. Like, it credits. could be first act or back half opening or mid. Uh, honestly, this is the most versatile of the two. This is a more versatile track. Opening a lot of their credits. stuff is, man. The Midnight Syndicate's awesome. They really all right, are. so we're gonna go on next. Next, we're gonna go to Noctum Aeternus. Mm -hmm. The first two were track one and two off of this Out of the Darkness Best Of album. This is number nine. Now, again, I only am playing the tracks that I feel can work well as background tracks for our stuff. So I have used them for background tracks for our stuff before. Um, so they're intentionally slower and less aggressive and less overwhelming than a lot of the other Midnight Syndicate so tracks right. are. So we can expand this in the, next, in the next episode. But for now... For today, it's meant to be the low, lower key ones mm -hmm. that are less offensive because also right. we're talking over them. Huh? Well, and also no, the not, fact not that really. um, okay, play it. Okay. Well, I mean the entire Christmas album, which is we have a couple. <laughs> Christmas album is amazing. I'm we have a like, couple. Susie, do not, yeah. do not do that. Carol of the Bells and Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. There yeah. are versions of those. We will play Carol those because the they're amazing. And then the original Just ones wait. Are we'll play it. Though. You know what? Should we skip ahead? No, we'll do Noctum Eternus first, and then we'll do Carol of the Bells. Wow, here. I'm trying to remember the one I used when I saw King the last time. All right, here we go. Knock to me, Turnus. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Well, that, what? Oh, I didn't do what I did okay. last time. That's why. Here we go. Drag it over. All right. Okay, this is clearly middle of the movie. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, yeah. because something's been revealed. Yeah, and this is this might be Sydney Prescott doing some research at the library, yeah. Yeah. right? Going through, yeah. searching Absolutely. through some mm -hmm. microfilm. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, like I got the smiles creeping over my face because I just love good horror music that literally puts your mind. This is what's here's, happening here's right something. now. She's going through all the news articles. She's like, <sighs> right, right finding stuff or like in 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 your resident evil game it's your investigating the scenarios the, yeah. the surroundings this is middle and looking for things yeah this is, middle this is act two act yeah. two okay i agree i like this ah, i love this this is so fun 
I'm glad I, this. I don't know. To, I apologize. This this, is this isn't for channel. everyone on our channel, but this is fun for me. I I really yeah. like using the creativity of just listening to music and building a scene around it. I love it. Uh, wandering fun. Marine veteran who makes this music. Uh, Midnight Syndicate. Midnight Syndicate. Midnight They're Syndicate. down in the corner over yeah. there. Yes. Just search for Midnight Syndicate. Fuego's D, right that's, there. That's uh, and you'll, my boo. You'll see it. Okay. Wandering Is Marine veteran. D. If there were any movie you would ch well, you would most want to change into a horror, what would it be? Oh, see, that's a whole nother stream, yeah, honestly. We were, Sorry, man. We that's cannot that's touch this right That's something we'd have to put some thought into. But Wandering Marine veteran, I will keep that in mind for a future stream. So and if you keep future, coming back, you'll see us answer that. Yeah, it's a future stream. Midnight Syndicate. Topic. Got it. Okay. Mikey, about it. Mikey Mnemonic. We have a show here. In the UK, Susie may remember called Jacksonary, which is it's Jackanary. A Jackanary, which is a show where celebs read, read stories, stories to music. music. Oh, you guys could do a better version with. I'm not. I'm not opposed to that. I'm all about Obviously, this. Obviously, <laughs> well, that's the thing. I think in the next startling story time, it might be fun to have us rotate doing stories yeah. besides just me. Like, you could tell one, and then Fuego could tell one. I'm just talking Cease about has got that. <coughs> I, I, I mean, do, I got that shit on lock, yeah, but thing, what I'm like, saying I do voice over work, obviously, because, just because of where I'm from. Yeah. But, but I think that would work well for certain yeah, stories. I'd be okay with it, yeah. We should do that. All right. Um, uh, Alice in that... Wonderland says, Count Cuckula. That's not far. Joanna from Canada says, love this one. I didn't I put it on Alice repeat. No, for uh, the last one, I was trying to think of just somebody coming to terms with a loss and sitting in, you know, just like a, a docile room and maybe like writing down thoughts or, you know, looking at ancient pictures. I don't know why so much of this Midnight Syndicate stuff feels like homage to me, because it definitely does. It, it I mean, really obviously feels... it has an older style feel with, with the music and whatnot which i'm not saying is a bad thing at all well no i think i think it's absolutely appropriate for yeah. certain types of horror movies yeah. i think if you went to the midnight syndicate with a budget and and some direction they could do whatever the hell you wanted well, I'm thinking and of the rock it out of the no, park this is great my mikey mnemonic this yeah, one makes me makes mnemonic. me think of a person discovering an old tomb Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to go to Wences here. I didn't read Wences's yet. A ghost wandering in a house, following children and pets. They sense a disturbance but can't put their finger on it. You just see everything from the ghost's POV. Fuck, Wences. That's good. Well, and the ghost POV was. I like his fucking. I, was I like where his mind goes, dude. I was just. Thinking I would like a window into Wences's mind when it comes to these tracks. I was thinking of desolate masses. Okay, Wences. You know, just like lots of drone shots, lots of interiors of a long abandoned place, and not necessarily like a mansion or something like that. Well, an investigation of the mansion in the haunting, maybe I think, would school, work very well. Maybe yeah. an old, I mean, something that has been long abandoned. Um, to, uh, I'm trying to think of the movie with David Carradine where they're like cleaning out the old place in Boston. It's eluding me. If you guys remember, please. So, yeah. Joanna from Canada feels like she's in the same place as us. Um, <laughs> Sky is funny, says, sounds like a piano to me. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, Joanna from Canada says, I see discovery, but of a place. Maybe when an alien, when they walked onto the abandoned ship. So, it, just as I was saying, discovering a mansion, yeah. same same sort of thing. I cannot relate with aliens, I'm sorry. These fucks, you guys. That's, that's yeah, the biggest compliment I can get from Cecil just short of, yeah. Yeah! It would yeah! Be yeah, it's it would need to feel more like cybernetic and robotic. And Mikey everything. Mnemonic says mausoleum. Count Cuckula says white claw. Mm -hmm. Although, if you want to go like art house A24, like sort of. Okay, we're not going to talk about planet, A24. You know, you're just like zooming in on the planet and we're it's not just about slowly. And then we're entering orbit, and then people and it are been slowly a film. disembarking, and then they start walking <coughs> around and just slowly looking and everything, and then the prisoners and the passengers the experiment victims. Yeah, yeah, we can move on to another one. Wandering Marine Veteran says, yeah. why did you guys get into the horror genre? I think uh, I think we should refer you to our Get to Know the Horror Show series. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah we did about four, uh, four or six <laughs> episodes talking about our origins and why we got into horror and stuff like that. That is a great place to go find out that answer. Really Eddie D's song gives me Casper vibes. Fuck you, yeah, okay, Casper. Casper. I can deal. Uh, yeah, fuck I can yeah, see man. that. To Devin okay. Sawa, like a friendly motherfucker. Motherfucker. ghost. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. Okay. Final destination: Idle Hands, Little Giants. All right, you take it to a place. You know, All right, you right so here we go. Okay, let's let's move on to the next <laughs> one then. <laughs> so we will stop 
Noctum Eternus. Uh -huh. So the next one, I'm going to go ahead and jump into one of those um, Christmas ones that we were just talking mm -hmm. about. Let's do Carol the Bells next. We are doing... So yeah, so for those of you that don't know, I am classically trained in uh, string instruments, with which would be violin. Can viola. you actually play or you just know a lot about them? No, I play then why the fuck haven't you ever played on our channel because you never asked you me to bitch you fucking song. six years you don't think to suggest hey i could play some creepy you've shit you've known about it like what the fuck next sunday yes. guys our stream next sunday is gonna yes. be Susie von slaughter playing a string instrument of and, some kind and look forward to just uh, so Susie you know von slaughter guest starring on the chiron track with strings and female <laughs> yeah people. for real like come where the hell did this come this from come it's news, news to Susie. us no, it's not. You right. guys obviously Dude, forgotten. Dude, you straight up better be ready to go yeah, next, I, next week. Passing Bro. Let's go. Oh, I'm, oh, I, yes, I'm old. I do. Oh, snap. All oh, right. I'm do you actually have an instrument? What do you have? I have a viola and an electric violin that is red, blood red. And it's so you're going to paint it white and be the white violin? Because that shit's dope, dude. Uh, Wait, so you can no actually you do like some of that, that so violin much. stuff? Yeah, I have an can you, violin. Can you, can you practice one of the tracks from the Umbrella Academy? I would love to. Okay, so that's do your I, goal, Do you know who Lindsay Look, Sterling okay, is? No, no, no. First, down, no I'm do saying, I know who Lindsay Practice it. Okay, Download I'm the track. Live. She's These bad motherfuckers, the I've already She's talked about this. These motherfuckers know this. They're acting like Maybe they don't a fucking of years know. Ago. They don't fucking know. And they, like, they're hey, acting meet like. Susie Von Slaughter in podcast number five. Yeah. She kept yeah. having kids. We're up we to forgot. podcast number 247, bad, bitch. How do you not remember this shit? Because <laughs> like, you yes. never like her, like, hey, let me let me yes, show my talent. I, and now because I, I don't. Because we could have you. We could literally do a whole thing. We have a devil. We have a violinist. We could literally yes. do the devil went down no, to Arizona. I, yeah, yeah. I, he was I looking for a soul okay, violin. Okay, so I guess really quick. He was way behind. He was looking to make a deal. Uh, oh, so, like, that's really disgusting. quick. She is the devil. So, like, really quick. No, before any of this, before, like, the makeup and anything, I wanted to be a music teacher. I still do. I want to be me. I want a to conduct. Teacher. Yes, I want to conduct an orchestra. That was my main, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> and then makeup happened. I had, no, no sorry. All right, well, then dude, I had we're going to lean into it. And we're then gonna makeup happened. Makeup happened. <laughs> Children <laughs> happened. Yeah. Susie versus Lindsay Sterling. Nice. Bro, um, uh, horror themes yeah. played on the violin. Could you pull that off? Yeah. Dude, if you could start doing horror covers on your violin, like if you and Fuego could team up and do like yeah. violin and drum that's covers. The, and that's well, the other thing that really could. bothered me. Is the so why the fuck don't? Like, you, you never asked me to! Yeah, I'm officially show running, motherfuckers. Get that shit done. Mahalo is that's a very So you two pick player. your theme that, that you want to do first That was the one other thing that really bothered me in Umbrella Academy when she was playing the violin and like it wasn't going with the the bow strokes. Oh, the bow strokes. Okay. I was like, no. Like Ellen Page, I love you. Like, Juno, I you're great. So but what right, is going so on? you have to learn one of the songs from the Umbrella Academy, and then you both Done. have to work together and do a, a horror theme song together. It's so the horror show it, ghost musical. Yes. Well, it's All so funny. It. Yes. We practice just today. Me and Chiron were working on our our Terminator. Our Thank you, Nick. Da -na -na, you rule. Da -na -na, but with strings. Mozart the... is shaking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Cecil beverage. is a man he forgets constantly. What? How dare you? Yeah, no, I things. definitely know that I brought this up. Because I, I always want yeah, to teach What up, Mark? I love it. I always hey, good to, to see you, man. Show. Thanks for stopping by on your break. Good to see you. Oh, Mark. All right, so I need to move on to the next. We need to listen to Carol of the Bells, but Susie's walking away. Susie, will Jeez. you bring over my vodka since Fuego never got his ass up wow. to do it? Oh, wow. snap! Oh, oh snap! So Ooh. Oh, All right. Cut it out. No, I've got our glasses over here. I just need the vodka. Yeah, we have our little shoddy. I need shoddy the bottle. Glasses. The bottle, please. Yeah. Hey, so uh, I'm going to actually, as Susie is grabbing Hey, Sarah, photos, Sarah. Who do you guys, <laughs> as the collective uh, live stream, enjoy scoring <laughs> horror music? I mean, everybody knows, like, you know, Philip Glass did a hey, piece of Candyman, Sarah. and we discussed that previously. But, uh, you know, who is a go-to go. for you? Or, you like, what is a that. horror film that has a terrific score? Not a soundtrack, because a soundtrack is where popular music is thrown together. Um, it was a big thing in the later 90s and early 2000s with, like, 
the Scream sequels and, you know, like Freddy Upcoming Jason, Patreon review, like metal Let the Right One In has one of the absolute best horror scores of all time. Let the Right One In is maybe... Well, it's, it's and One Hour second. Photo, One Hour Photo does as well. Okay. I own that film as well. That is the creepiest thing Robin Williams has ever done, but I just rewatched Let the Right One In for our Patreon. I knew I loved that movie, and I it's talked a so lot of brilliant. crap about Let Let Me In, which is still pretty still good. Brilliant. But the original one, I've never read the uh, the Swedish novel that it's all based on. But that original James film, Warner is amazing. It's it was my first time watching it, dude, in Swedish with the English subtitles. I've watched the dub before, and in Swedish with those subs, man, and just the chemistry between those two, John and it's creepy, and it's effed too. up, and the score is amazing, and there's more gore than I remembered. I can't wait for us to... Sky says they can play K Sera on piano. <laughs> awesome. Sera! Sera! Um, Eddie D says, correct, Cecil, I love the Left the Right One In soundtrack. Yeah, man. I can play Eddie Holy D is Wars dope. Eddie drum. D and I have a lot of that. similar tastes, especially about Brian Callen. You suck your chance. Yeah. By the way, Brian Callen, we can do as a cameo for the channel, but he's 100 bucks. I don't know who that is. So tempting, though. No. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's Crystalia. But Brian but Callen so, does. He takes yeah. part of it, yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oops. What the fuck? I don't know Oops. who Brian Callen is. It's okay. The name sounds like kind wow. of familiar. It's okay. All right, we got to jump into the next song here, guys. Nick so Carl? we're going to jump into Carol of the Bells. This, oh, um, sure. the Midnight Syndicate did a Christmas sure. album. And they, I have two of the songs that we'll jump into real quick. The first one is Carol the Bells, so you guys can hear the horror version of a Christmas Wait, tune that you on. know. So is this in AD, Kellen is in the new Joker film. Get out of here. Really nice. I heard something about that. The Alive 2. <laughs> Alive 2 says, I'm laughing my ass off at you guys. That's awesome. The Howling 6, The Rebirth, has a music. great end title track. Scott and uh, okay. Nick. As far as howling MVP. closing tunes go, I stick with number two where they're like howling, where they keep showing the girl ripping her clothes off of her boobs over of and over again. Yes. As yep. In, as in the movie. Boobs. The howling? the howling too. You need to see more I always think, do, 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 No, I just have a special appreciation for them. No, wait, wait, you are need we to talking just tits, boobs in like... the horror period or are we talking like. Doesn't matter. All right, here we go. That is a stream we, we want to Carol do. of the Bells. Here we go. We want to count down three, two, one, go. At some point. Okay, you gave me this, and so let's... We're going to do it while this is going. Mm -hmm. Favorite horror movie? <clears throat> Just wait. This kicks in. This is really... So, yeah. Obviously, this feels Christmas time. But what? Can you turn it up? Okay, yeah, well, speaking, yeah. of, uh, speaking of horror nudity, I'm thinking of a girl who is jumping into the shower, and she's about to, like, get all dolled up and what. And I don't think that. Yeah. No, I feel like this might she's be... Come back from a party. No, I feel like this might be a Christmas show being set up. You see people setting up chairs, setting up a thing, and then it's going to crescendo into something else. Like, this is setting up something big coming, but it's a setup at this point. No, well, the big thing is that she is up in the window, and there's a creeper who is, like, up there looking at This feels too big for just one person. This feels too big for one person. Susie, what do you think? Does it feel like one person? Or Are one you person? talking to me? I'm listening. No, I'm asking. Does this feel like a setup for one person, or feel like a setup like a bigger setup for multiple? One person. Really? One okay. Person. Right. I'll take. I'll take. I'll take. I would say like it's it it towards the person's beginning of a, a holiday. Uh, I would no. I would say towards the ending when they're getting their like vengeance. Oh, so the good person? Like, this is their Rambo scene? Yeah. Like, stocking up with sharp yeah. candy canes? Oh, yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. This is the... It shows Like, if this was a Gremlins they're... movie, this is the this is the kid suiting up and Rambo-ing yeah. up and, like, yeah. putting all this, kinds of cool yeah. stuff yeah, and getting yeah. ready to face the Gremlins. Yeah. Okay, okay! Okay! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Thank you. You know, when you mention it that way, though, it almost makes me just feel like somebody, like, hoisting killer artillery. Almost like Silent Night, the remake. Holy shit! Oh. What if this was just a bunch of elves preparing a defense or Hold something on. like that? A Christmas oh, prostitute dressed as an elf gets you picked up by an old man now. who looks like Santa. He's proven pervert with chloroform and knives the backseat tension for Well, I got lost home. somewhere in there. Yeah, I know. Well, this is Mikey Truma. No, it's Wentz's Acosta. Oh, Christmas prostitute dressed as an elf who gets picked up by an old man who looks like Santa. Okay, all right, I can see that. He's good. She's a proven pervert with chloroform and knives in the back seat. The tension grows until... Until Santa on his sleigh, speeding through the night, getting ready 
to this is, well, this kick is some is demon ass. Cock Cons shotgun and flicks a cigar over his side. Okay. Cock Damn, dude. You well, like. I like Lynch's. I like Lynch's. Is he lurches. Yeah. Her being younger moves faster. He grabs a knife and stabs repeatedly. Eddie D. Kevin McAllister is possessed. <laughs> and the bird lady has to give him an exorcism on Christmas. Nice. <laughs> Okay, look, Wences, I fucking love you. No, that was Eddie D. Yeah, okay. Eddie D. That was fucking brilliant. No, after good. you mentioned the elves, I was thinking, okay. Christmas so, tree shopping, says Noah P. So let's imagine. Very simple. That's the dark ass like, Christmas yeah, tree yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you guys. Eddie wins. <laughs> Eddie <laughs> wins, guys. You gotta give it up to Eddie. That is fucking. Like, no, I like that. Well, and, okay, so let's shout out though, Brandon. Oh, Chase Smith, Merry Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes. What up, Chase? Good to see you, brother. Uh, yes, Andrew's here Chase. too. Little uh, the drummer boy preparing for you a day no of war. Oh, I like that. Long. The drummer boy preparing for his day of war. That's yeah. cool. Yes, but that's what I'm Brandon this Quinn. Is like Brandon Quinn says, imagine a ghost floating around amidst a cucumber patch, doing deep knee bends and smile strikes your face. Okay, okay. so okay. I thought it was a real comment. Oh, Brandon. Okay, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. We're, we're trying to be serious for like a moment. We're not very serious all the time, but like. I mean, let's honestly say that Krampus is invading the North Pole with his evil forces, and all of the elves are like sharpening the candy canes, like we talked about, and they're getting all of their artillery. I can see that. I can see that. This is like that ready. redemption song. You know what I mean? Like. Well, no. What I think this is, this is, this is immediately after the Dark Knight of the Soul, where like the main character is like given up and it's like, but he's like, no, I gotta fight back and I'm gonna make this a dirty fight for Christmas. And so he starts so like to mobilize the elves, mobilizing to, like, them. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then you like see them all like grabbing armor, like in, like in the freaking uh, Lord of the Rings. All you know, all the Urukai grabbing armor. This is all the elves grabbing armor. But that, like yeah, that. Cool. So it's, it's that like build up, that redemption thing. Like, not quite the middle, the end. Like, shit's about to happen. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's say Krampus yeah. has already taken most of the North Pole, and they're like ready to get their remaining forces together to combat the nastiness of the Krampus. Uh, my King Demonic, you are absolutely right. Krampus is, uh,. December fifth. Krampus me, Nacht. I uh I told my children all about it. You use Krampus for your house? Fuck oh, yeah, I, I like did. It. Are you kidding? I showed them pictures the and everything. I was like, oh look at him hold up this fucking child. Alive too says Van bed. Helsing approaching Dracula's castle. Okay. During Christmas, that. I could see that. Absolutely. All right, so should we move back to a regular song? Get away from the Christmas. We yeah, only have one so. other. We, we have one like other a... creepy Christmas okay. song. Do we, we like want to just... stick with it? Or go back and then come back to it. I mean, if we gave them a little taste, I guess maybe one We'll more, do one more creepy know, Christmas and song. We'll back, but, uh, <laughs> Andrew says Mrs. Claus is secret, thing. growing jealous of Christmas because secret she wants the attention Christmas brings and is plotting his assassination. Okay. Who wouldn't? Frozen what? 2 score? Okay. Uh, All right, so we're going to do one more Christmas, on Christmas really song here, here Christmas theme song. Okay. So this one is called The Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Of course. Yep. We'll see and how this is actually one that we've used before. I actually really, really like this one. This is that. And then we're going to play Haunted Nursery. Because Haunted Nursery is... Oh, whoops. I did the wrong thing there. No, 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 no. I played it in the wrong place. This played is it, it? Place. No, I didn't drag it over. So here we go. Yeah. Now they can hear it, too. Oh, okay. I just felt it coming. Sorry, y'all. So this one has a slower start, so I would picture maybe a little girl sleeping with her little globe next to her, sort of dancing this in the light. This is very, like, trailer. It, it, okay, it feels like that, but now, like, the girl wakes up in a wonderland. But Did a darker wonderland. A Christmas land! She wakes up in Christmas land. Oh. And, like, starts yeah. to look around and sees, like... Wait, that's not quite right. <laughs> and they're not, not not quite in Christmas Land, so the girl wakes up in the back seat. And oh, okay. yeah, they're approaching Christmas Land. Nosferatu for those of you that know. And seeing, like, Ooh, CK2D says Nosfer seeing... Nosfer uh, Sky says I like this one. Okay. Yeah. Emily says Christmas Halloween. Nutcracker rave music. Yeah, this is Nutcracker. Yeah. Well, What's then, the dance like, of the Sugar Plum Fairy? Yeah, yeah that's why I was gonna ask if you saw Did you not realize it was nut Nutcracker? Do you I like guess Nutcracker? I did, okay. but it's that's pressing really awesome. Yeah. It gets dark, dude. I love it. Yeah. 
It just makes me wonder, like, are they gonna incorporate any of the- Dude, I love the Midnight Syndicate for this shit. Like that- oh, In the background, it's like- No, 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 no. Are they gonna incorporate any- Can you just imagine- for us So, so here, picture this. Wondering. Just a little girl's nightmare. Like, she goes to sleep, well. and there's a little snow globe of a girl dancing, and then she wakes up in this nightmare land, having to dance around all these creepy I'm creatures. I'm listening. I'm not even... A naughty kid waking up on Christmas, realizing all Santa got him were horrible tragedies? That's not bad, Andrew. Oh, she's she's trying to key in. Okay. That's all right. Key in. Key in. Uh, Mikey Mnemonic, on the road to Christmas land, with the moon laughing and Xmas trees slowly coming yes! into view, and dancing demon kids. Yes! Seriously, Mikey. I'm Mikey! I am wondering if they're going to incorporate Christmas music into the series. They better they, do. Well, they, do they better do Christmas land like that? Like, the, they said, better have the laughing moon, mother. Joe, do, well, of course, man. And Joe Hill said on his little Twitter today that uh, season one, he specifically mentioned season one, is that we could have many seasons with Charlie Banks, man, and just every nasty thing he had done before and after. So. I just like watching Susan's face now. Yeah. Um, so Wentz says a child winding up a toy until they hear a noise sees Krampus sending his toys and cookie men to snatch and kill, only instead of looking away, she keeps watching, not knowing better. Ends with them putting a killer reindeer chewing on flesh. Yeah, that's a bit aggressive. Mm -hmm. Alright, I already had a loot. Eddie D, Kingdom Hearts series is amazing. Yeah, we're, um, Andrew's been playing it on our Twitch channel, if you like Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, the Live 2 says Immortal, Mighty Ravenguard, very cold track. Hear the monsters wackiness, says CK2D. Yeah, I can see that. Hear the monsters wackiness. Yeah. Like, imagine maybe the end of Little Monsters during Christmas, where like all this weird shit starts coming out and revealing itself to the kid. This is almost like a live action, you could do a really dark live action Nightmare Before Christmas scene to this, oh, where all the weird characters of Nightmare Before Christmas reveal themselves. Yeah, there's been indications that Christmas. I don't know what I think about that, but dude, I just love that people are chiming in with their yeah. thoughts. Ah, that was awesome. So that was your taste of the midnight Susie. Syndicate Christmas. You Susie, okay? Tell us. You tell like us it? You... That was amazing. I love, <laughs> I love everything. Oh. You gotta start reviewing these CDs with us. Oh my god, they're bro, good. That, no, that was. Oh my god. Okay, I I can't even tell you how many times I've played that piece before. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, the Nutcracker track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one is so famous. It's been like God, it's by Tchaikovsky. Mm -hmm. That is. Did you like the dark version of it? Though? That was so great. That was so. Oh <laughs> my god. No, no, so I what did it put you in mind for though? Like honestly, it could have. That's the thing. It could have been any. It could have been anywhere. Well, in something went up. Well, I mean, you see, the tough thing when oh, it's already camera. been yeah. set to a story, like with the Nutcracker, you know, with the rats and all that other stuff. It's like, no, but that, but that's the thing. Like for me, like I said, like classical music, that's my shit. But like that was so fucking Daddy Elfman. Yeah, Daddy Elfman. Oh, Mike and he, Mnemonic says he is, a drifter, anyone? He is ah, my fucking shit. Yeah, Danny Elfman, go, oh man. my there god, you don't understand. A score in a fucking movie. Reader and Black's on board too. Can really make I can see great. a little girl waking up in the back of Charlie's car. Charlie looks back and says everything will be okay as Christmas Land appears. And, how and see, that's the thing. That this, yeah. Any, Dude, Midnight uh, Syndicate needs to do the fucking Nosferatu soundtrack is like, what I need to do. Legitimately. Any part, like I've said already, this belongs in the beginning. This belongs in the middle. This legit, I honestly could feed feel, through all of it. could be through any of it. It is so beautifully done. I am. Uh, I genuinely want to so jump on my good. phone right now and tweet that. Like, and just like Midnight Syndicate. It's no so good. Soundtrack you guys. Win, like, make Midnight Syndicate. Yeah. Seriously, Midnight Syndicate. You guys fucking rock. So good, right? You guys rock my fucking world. Let like, me fucking tell you why. Well, we've almost been going an hour. I think we've got time to go through one more track. You guys want to do one more track? Yeah. All right. So, um, Emily Glover says Halloween music. Mikey Mnemonic says Pringle Boingo. I didn't do it. Um, Alive 2 says Danny Elfman's Sleeping Hollow soundtrack is awesome. Um, CK2D says Danny Elfman should take a crack at it. Uh, Joanna from Canada says it's Christmas Eve and Chucky is dancing all around the house. 
Um, the Reader in Black said, yeah, I already said that. Okay. It feels like graceful. Small soldiers, but with yeah. the crackers versus gingerbread men. Turns into a dance off. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's going to do it for the dance of the sugar plum fairy. <laughs> All right, so we'll do one more song and then we'll call it. Um, I'm trying to see which one I want to do. <laughs> Scenes from the Dead Matter, Eclipse, Soliloquy. Oh, Haunted Nursery. No, this is definitely okay. This is definitely the one. All right, put your earbuds in. Okay. So this is only a minute and a half. This will be good, but I love this track. I've played it a number of times, and this is definitely... Uh, illusionary of certain ideas. Okay. Oh, yeah, you have totally done this one before. As a mom? <laughs> I'm honestly thinking... Let's like, absorb this. Let's absorb this for a bit. Okay. Let's absorb this one for a bit. Flavor, you need another? Are you good? Happy? I love this track. I actually end... Wait, wait. I actually end our episodes with this track when I use it. I think this is so beautiful to end on. Okay, in that regard... I actually just kind of like watching Susie absorb it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Go ahead, I'm actually it's almost curious, done. listening to this, if Susie has ever seen the movie Grace. <laughs> yeah. I am envisioning the creature child just devouring the nipple. Is it night there? Yes, Lee Kong, it is night here. It is 9.30 p.m. I wouldn't it's be actually here 9 in the a.m. and we're just getting frazzy. Evil magician putting on a up. show? Okay. This is the nursery rhyme of Voorhees. This is what happened to him. Nursery Rhyme of Voorhees is not bad. It's really good. Yeah. There you go, I'm Susie. actually thinking of a mother doing something horrible like drowning her children. You think yeah, this might I be see, a little I, bit of a, of a Rosemary's Baby scenario? I see this as an introduction to a movie. Okay. To what, what's about... Keep, keep one in. Keep one in. So you can keep mm -hmm. the vibe. Okay, so imagine the child in, in this little montage is like running around like... And the mom was just like, no. no okay, no. I like she that. No, Mikey Mnemonic terrible. says, I got a ballerina vibe. Maybe the one from Cabin in the Woods. Actually, a little girl dancing. Like, listen, no, follow me, follow girl. me. Suspiria, Suspiria, Fuego. Okay, the <laughs> ballerina sort of, or maybe a black swan Suspiria mixture, where there's a ballerina that has to dance for the devil, for her life, or something like that. Like, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. I see this. I feel a frozen having person, though. Having two girls. Like, uh... Really? Okay. Yes, having two... Yes, having two girls. This is what I hear. A okay. little... A, like, a little girl by herself, secluded. Mm -hmm. Like, dancing. Because mm -hmm. it's the only thing she has. Like, this... But this is, like, the beginning of something. An introductory into whatever you're watching. Okay. Well, the way it slows down, almost like it's one of those like crank kind of turns. But that's but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, music shows, box. Yeah. It's a music box that's right. winding totally down. But that's what I'm saying. Feel. So that it yeah. shows, it sets the mood for the for the movie for the film uh, of that depression of this little. I don't even but also, it has to be tell the me this couldn't the be the last song of the end credits though. Oh, absolutely. The way it just but no, finishes I, off like dun dun dun. Oh, dun, absolutely. Dun, no. dun, end of the dun, second dun, act. Dun, yeah. Dun, I mean, like, end of Love the second that. act where a person is trapped and you don't know if they're going to be able to escape. Okay, okay, I can see that too. You know? I can see no, that, but that too. That's what I'm saying. So this, for me, in my head, this is the beginning. You see a little girl in a room by herself. There's one window, sunlight coming in, and she's dancing. Yeah, it's all yeah. isolation. She's trying, and, to, pass, like, she's trying to pass moonlight. She's trying to pass the yeah, time. You know? Right, She and she, this is her, this is all she has. But at the end of it, a girl also, like trapped after, in this one room, like right. trapped no way in this so room, at like the a end chain. Of it, she, so what if she's a ballerina so with a chain on her leg? Right. So at the end of it, it all comes for full circle. And at the beginning, it's the end movie that wraps everything. It credits start rolling. So oh, so, so let me let me like think this. Let me think this. This is a this is a this is a ballerina that's been kidnapped by someone that loves her, keeps her in an attic, keeps one leg chained. 
and she still dances, she but says, this well, is always know. her pivot leg because it has to stay low. She doesn't and so know she's so young. She she all she can do is, is try and dance to bring herself out of her situation. Oh, I love it! I love it! Too real. <laughs> Maybe like her mom was a ballerina. It's too real to me. Was it got too a... real. Okay, mom was a ballerina, kidnapped as a child, and some of her first and clearest memories are of watching this her has to end with her like on stage. And then to pass the time, it's just her trying to emulate the. I feel like an ice dancer should do this has. during the Olympics. Sorry, I go ahead, say it again. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, clearest memories that she has as being abducted when she was like five, six or something was the fact that her mom was this is a very talented dancer. Little kid. And, and the only way she can pass the time and just let her mind escape from where she is because her body can't is from trying to emulate what she remembers. Wandering veteran. This to me is not quite the end credits, but the end part where stuff just happened and you are absorbing in awe. Then the end credit. Yes. So so maybe the end of the conjuring when they put the music box away, mm. right? And it's like a yes. a close push in on the music box and it's like Yes. And then yes. boom, cut yes. the credits. Yes. And like okay. everything comes okay. full circle okay. as to why I'm down everything with that. that just I'm down happened with that. Absolutely with wandering that and Marie. everything. That's good. That's good. Like, Soundtrack to the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Okay, CK2D, that's good. Oh, this would be perfect for a short horror it. film. I agree, Joanna. This yeah. would be a beautiful, beautiful track <laughs> for a short on. horror film. Nick, hello, yeah. Jaime, you beautiful man, you. You beautiful man, you. You said that? Nick. Nick? <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay, man. Uh, hey. Shut up. No, dude, I would, I would. <laughs> He's a beautiful Look, man. Look, no guys are telling me I'm sexy. You're That's sexy? Precious. Sky says spooky. No, 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 no. I'm, um, I'm just like everyone. Andrew says a music box that summons an evil spirit becomes friends with the spirit, and at the end of the movie, her um, it's her loved one singing the song one last time and summon the demon. Hmm. I'm a little confused, but I like that this is what they would sing. I like this like, is like going, maybe this is no, what this is what a though. mom yeah. like sang to her little girl growing up, and so this is what the little girl. That's a, okay. As one who okay, who has that would be really effective. Okay. Really who, effective. So as a mother who has two daughters, there's always that song. Thanks, Winces. Which is funny. Uh, <laughs> with my girls, it's "You Are My Sunshine." That song, they love, and I sing to them all the time. Yeah. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Could you play any of these for your kids? These, yeah, but so what I'm saying is, like, in a movie standpoint, it could hold up at the beginning as an introductory as a film. It's beautifully done, but there's still this ominous feeling to it, mm -hmm. and it would still hold true to the end of it as if it, like, ties everything, down. like, it ties everything together, you know, and it's well, beautifully done. Well, and that's done. where you have, like, a theme you come back to in the score over and over as opposed to just having something different for each segment. All of these, I would say, to give credit to Midnight Syndicate, they feel like they could be the main score theme for a song, mm -hmm. and you could have it in different contexts. You could have it at the beginning, you could have it at a pivotal point in the midsection, you could have Just it in the With slight end differences credits. to yeah. the arrangements and give things like that. Give a little like alteration, you know, up some melody, add some additional bits. Okay. No, I like Chase Alter Smith. I no, like Chase Smith's I'm sorry, thing. I, yeah. I need Smith to say something. Shit, man. One sense. Cecil, you are my bear crush. There's your compliment. For That's tonight. why I said thanks. Do you know? Francis. No. Do you know what a bear is? Yeah, I know what a bear is. Okay, never mind. I'm then. a very hairy gay man. I mean, I'm not gay, but okay. I would be a very hairy gay man if I was uh, if I was in that culture. I'd be a bear, absolutely. Um, so Chase Smith says, a woman walking down a hall who sees another woman with the wind blowing her hair and clothes. She turns to her crying and mouthing to not follow. In a trance, the woman mm. follows. I actually really like Words that. This really strikes me as a very 80s. So I like that, yeah. I didn't think yeah. that it could Well chosen them. words, aren't I don't think... Like, don't come my way. I don't, I don't think that it, in the 80s, like what we've been watching, I think it, it could hold up really well. But today's standards, I don't... Andrew. Production... <laughs> Andrews, he I wants think, me to shut my mouth. I need to zipper my mouth for comments. I think the way Chase described it just now could very easily yeah. be like something mid to late seventies horror, as far as just yeah, like but... spacey, ethereal, like you know, Suspiria type vibe. CK two D says this would actually be a really good song to lull a baby to sleep. Um, to, I can. Because it sounds like uh, a lullaby. Just, Would you verify that? Yep. 
Absolutely. You would use it for that? Absolutely. So for number five? Extra lettuce. Wow. <laughs> nope. Wow. So let's put that on fucking record. Nope. No more babies are fuck. Uh -huh. Until Look. you come into the one of our meetings going, so wow. guess what? Yeah, that's okay, fine. so that's, <laughs> that's I'm just saying it's only happened three times since okay. we've all worked together. So when was the last time? I mean it's been a it's couple been of a years. Hot minute. It's been a hot I think I got it under control now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you burn off all the tubes? Uh anything with a dick? I'm like, nope. <laughs> Fair enough. It's basically what's like happening. Mouth hole <laughs> only, sir. Uh, Sorry, I figured it out. Birth control God doesn't help me, me a fucking apparently. Wences says, oh, Del Toro needs to use this for scary stories. Wouldn't that I be I could great? be on yeah, board for that. Absolutely. Thing. This could be opening credits, man. Absolutely. I yeah. would just hope that this, I and I'm not saying crazy amount of production quality. And I, like I said, for 80s movie, like, if I'm watching Candyman. Critters or gremlins. <laughs> I'd be all about it, but I'm just I I'm just saying for today it would not hold up. Okay. It wouldn't. Right. Like, Fair enough. I love it. I'm just saying it wouldn't hold up. Well, honestly, I think this uh <laughs> sex talk with the horror show, yeah. Yeah oh, boy. Uh, so me, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> and call this one here. We're at a little over an hour, but I think this was a good experiment. Um, we have we've a lot more Midnight this. Syndicate tracks we can re uh, react to and do this with. Mm -hmm. So yeah. We've been talking about this for a long time. Indeed, yeah, indeed. So I've had this in my us. brain for a while. If you so. guys enjoyed it, like, let us know. Indeed. Let us know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more episodes like this. Um, again, we pride ourselves on being a variety show. This is something we did differently, and it's something that we thought would be fun for you guys. Go ahead and continue to comment, even if you didn't watch this live. Let us know as you listen to the tracks what they are screaming out to you. Comment multiple <laughs> times. It's fine with us. If you enjoyed um, Susie Von John Slaughter, Kyle Stanton, follow her on Twitter. Awesome. And if you want to give us money. John Kyle Stanton's amazing. He's, he's such a proponent of all of us horror channels. <laughs> Jesus, okay. That's such a proponent of all of us horror channels. But thank you guys very much. Uh, get on with writing shorts. I love a story show. You know bro, what? I'm all about uh, it, dude. Yeah. Yes, you know we, we are. I can we, start doing that. Okay, bro. Yeah, no, we, we are in that. the works. It's it's hard. We have some more. Yeah, we have some comedy sketches and some stuff coming up. But we, we are in the works. I, but you gotta keep yeah. in mind, there's four of us, and we have different cool. schedules. Thank you, Chase. So we. Four kids. Marsha has one kid. This one has no kids. This one has Mikey no kids. Mikey says Patreon exclusive, Susie? No one wants to go create with Mike. Hey, if you guys want to become patrons, we'll have Susie do special streams. You just oh, let really? me know. Booyah. We'll talk about it. All right, one last cheers. Thank you, Wences. Thank you for your contributions. And thank you guys very much for joining us. Thank you so I much. I think we should go out on the end of this song. So we love you all. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared. That was so...